Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday. So it is weigh-in day, we're gonna talk about my week, we're gonna talk about the Weight Watchers Workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload five new videos every week and Friday is always weigh-in day. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things and my free amazing supportive Facebook group are also down in that description box. Come join us, we would love to have you. So let's hop into my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty good week overall. A couple of not so good things this week, but a lot of really good things this week. So let's talk a little bit about my week before the Weight Watchers workshop topic and my weigh in. So I mentioned that I had a couple of maybe not so good things happen this week. First of all, I started my cycle. That's never a good thing. And I will tell you, man, the first couple days of my cycle, they about killed me. I was pretty miserable. I am not someone that gets a lot of cramps during my monthly cycle, but this month I was just not feeling good the first couple days. In fact, going to boot camp on Monday was quite the struggle because I just was tired and fatigued and I had cramps and just was not, not feeling my best. So it was a little bit of a struggle the first part of the week as far as feeling good. And whenever I have my cycle, I'm just a little bit more fatigued and tired. So getting through my workouts is just a little bit more of a challenge, but I am very proud of myself because I did all of my workouts this week. I completed them all. And in fact, last Saturday, I was so sore from my new train well workout that I did last Thursday that I actually took a 45 minute walk on Saturday and bumped my weight training workout till Sunday. My upper body was so sore, especially right here. It hurt just to like move my arms. So I talked to my coach with Trainwell Kayleen and she bumped my workout to Sunday. I am still using Trainwell. I love it. I've been using it now for months. In fact, I have a 165 day workout streak thanks to Trainwell. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me getting to the gym. It keeps me accountable. I absolutely love it. I love my coach. I love that she changes my workouts for me automatically. That's why I was so sore. This is a new to me workout. And as I've been with Trainwell, we've been upping my weights every time she changes my workouts. So it gets harder and harder and it just helps build and lean muscle and really just helps boost your metabolism the more that you progressively overload your body during your workout. So I'm so grateful for Trainwell. Seriously, it's the best money I could spend every month. I do still have a free 14 day trial. You can actually talk to a coach, get a workout, decide if it's for you. No obligation. If you don't want to continue, you can cancel after the 14 days. And actually, I recently have been getting quite a bit of questions on, well, what does it cost every month after the 14 day free trial? It's only $99 a month. And I'm telling you that's about one to one and a half personal trainer sessions. And you get a personal trainer at your fingertips. I literally talk to Kayleen, my coach, almost every single day. And like I said, she sets up my workouts for me based on my needs. Do I have a gym available? Do I work out at home? What types of, what are my goals when it comes to the gym? She sets it all up personalized to me. And there's actual video that you watch of the movements. It will correct your form in real time. It's literally a game changer. So if you want to get into working out or you really want to just up your workout routine, maybe get into strength training, try it for 14 days. It's free. And again, there's no obligation. So I'll link train well down below for you, but I've been loving it. I utilize it at least two days a week. I was there in the gym doing my train well workout again yesterday. I am feeling a little sore today, but not enough that I can't go to my, do my train well workout tomorrow. But man, boy, was I sore. It was so nice to be able to shift my workout. I just reached out to Kayleen and she moved it to Sunday from Saturday. So my cycle was one of the negative things that happened. And then the other thing that happened this week is that on Sunday, I put out a video announcing that I was going to offer channel memberships here on YouTube. In that video, I was extremely clear multiple times that my regular free content, my five videos a week is not changing. This is optional. If you want to support the channel in the form of memberships, if you want additional content, live streams, 
Oh my gosh, you guys, Sunday was literally a disaster. I actually spent Sunday morning with my in-laws. We went out for breakfast and then they wanted to go tour the model homes in Quail Creek where we're moving. So I was checking my YouTube comments throughout the morning, just off and on, not really consistently because I was spending time with my family. And boy, did I pummeled in inundated with negative comments, people saying they were unsubscribing, that I was greedy, that I shouldn't get paid, that I don't deserve to get paid, and that how dare I charge for content in this economy. It was awful, you guys, absolutely awful. People clearly didn't get the message that this was a completely optional thing, similar to a Patreon. I mean, Patreons have been around forever. YouTube memberships, FYI, have been around forever. I'm a member of a couple people's channel. It's just a great way to support the content creator and get extra content that you get outside of what they put out for free. And people were so upset. I lost over 50 subscribers in the first couple of hours of that video going live because people misunderstood and thought I was going to charge for my videos, which by the way, you can't even do. It's not even something YouTube offers. All of the content I put my time and effort into is free to you. I spend hours upon hours upon hours every single week, honestly more than a full-time job editing content and putting out videos, that's all free to you. This was just an additional service that I was offering because a lot of you want more content or maybe you want to live stream with me once a month or maybe you want to help me support my family, help support Lola through chemo. Oh my gosh, it was awful. So what I ended up doing was taking the video down, canceling the channel memberships and I did make a post on my community tab letting everybody know that I just, it, it was heartbreaking and devastating and deflating and awful, the comments that I was receiving. I mean, to be told that I'm not worthy of making any money on YouTube was crazy to me. This is my full-time job. This is how I've supported my family. This is how my dog is still alive to this day because I'm able to put her to chem through chemo. My mind was literally blown at the negativity and just the beating up of me that people on the internet were doing that I just decided to take the video down, remove it completely from my channel, I'm no longer going to be offering memberships. Listen, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to get bullied on the internet over. I do have a free Facebook group. In that free Facebook group, I do offer a three month challenge. It is a paid challenge group. It's amazing. The community is amazing. I've been offering it for years. That group has become my best friends. We have a monthly call. If you want to support me and you want to do something that's in addition to the free content I offer, I would recommend joining my free fa my Facebook challenge group. The new one starts October 1st. Come join my Facebook group. I announce it in there. You can also purchase my nutrition and health planner. All of the proceeds of that goes to Lola's Chemo. It's less than $20. It's amazing. I'll put all of the ways to support the channel outside of just watching my free content in the description box. And speaking of free content, every time you guys watch my video, and thumbs up my videos and comment, it supports me. So thank you. That's all you have to do. I don't expect you to spend any money. That is the only support that I need from you. I love having you in my free Facebook group. It's a great way for me to get to know you. It's additional free support. I just thought maybe, just maybe offering memberships would be beneficial to you and me and it just ended up being an utter disaster. So I will not be pursuing that any further at this time. I will not be setting up a Patreon. I'm just going to put my heart and soul into my paid Facebook group because like I said, it's an amazing community. The women in there are positive and supportive. I'm just really sad that the way that that turned out, it just was, it was awful. It was awful on Sunday. So for those of you that did comment on my community post and in my Facebook group for, in support of me and the memberships, thank you. It seriously means a lot to me, but I am not going to be putting those into play right now. It's just, I can't do it, okay? I have a lot going on in my life. My Lola's rounding out this session of chemo. I am building a new house. I'm trying to support my family. I just, I can't. I can't with the memberships right now, but thank you again for your support. And again, purchasing my nutrition planner, purchasing coaching, joining my paid Facebook group. Those are ways to support me and my family. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, let's talk about positive things that happened this week. I got in all my workouts. I drank all my water. I've been doing amazing with my food. I ate out one day this week. One day only, Tori and I had ordered pizza on Saturday. We always eat out on Saturday and I focused on just that one day. I'm just, I had some really good things happen this week. I'm actually going to paint pottery tomorrow with a women's group in my community, my current community. There's a group of women trying to make friends in this 
Rancho Sawaita community. So I'm going to go meet some wonderful ladies tomorrow, paint some pottery. So those are some really good things that happened this week. Oh, and Lola's doing amazing. She did have chemo on Tuesday. She's, she's doing great. So those are all things that I'm going to value and appreciate that were supportive and positive and wonderful this week. And really that outweighs any of the negativity. Before I chat with you about my weigh-in though, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to turn mini wins into lasting inspo. I love this topic. I'm all about those little non-scale victories, those little wins along your weight loss journey that leads to the big end result. So I'm so excited about this week's topic. Try this. What simple thing did you do this week that took a lot of effort or energy. Maybe you made two low point dinners after work. How did you make it happen? Thoughts, routines, plans, anything. I planned my meals and went grocery shopping on Sunday. What barriers did you overcome and how did you do it? I know I'm tired after work, so I also chopped veggies on Sunday instead of watching TV, then played music while cooking for extra energy. Connect the dots to reflect on how your efforts helped you achieve this win. A lot went into these healthy dinners. Take out would have been so much easier, but I created a routine, resisted the couch to prep ahead and hyped myself up with music. Like I said, we talk a lot about NSV's non-scale victories. That's one of my favorite things along my weight loss and maintenance journey. Way more important to me than the scale or those non-scale victories. And this is just a way to really focus on those that again will lead to the long-term results of weight loss. Maybe making dinner after a long day at work is a major win for you. That's one of those micro mini wins to focus on. Or maybe you have the courage to join Trainwell and try a new workout. That's a huge mini win. Maybe you only ate out one day this week like I did instead of several times. Again, huge mini win. Everyday actions, things we do every single day, even small things lead to those end results, which is the big picture. And by doing little things and having mini goals along the way, it helps keep you inspired, motivated, gives you that inspo to keep going. If we have 100 pounds to lose and the only goal we set is to lose 100 pounds, what happens when we don't lose it as fast as we thought we're going to? Or what happens once we've lost 10 pounds? We kind of lose our motivation, lose our incentive. We need to have these mini wins along the way to keep us going towards that big win, that 100 pounds loss. Set little mini goals. I promise you it makes such a big difference. Like I said, maybe your goal is to try a new workout class, or maybe you want to eat more fruits and vegetables. Do little things that lead to big results in the end. I did that during my entire weight loss journey. You know that I focused on weight decades. Every time I got into a new weight decade, 200, 190, 180, 170, that's when I celebrated. Every 10 pounds loss was a big celebration because losing 10 pounds is hard and it should be a big celebration. And again, just focusing on those small little wins that lead to the big wins is what's going to give you inspo and keep you motivated. I promise it works. I did it myself, my entire 140 pound weight loss journey. So I really like this topic because I think it's something we need to constantly give ourselves a reminder of, that all of those little things that we do to be successful lead to those big end results. Let me know down below, what are some of your mini goals that you have on your weight loss and health journey? Speaking of weight loss, let's talk about my weigh-in. Like I said, I'm on my cycle. I'm still on my cycle. I'm towards the end of it, but I'm still currently on my monthly cycle. I, my extreme hunger goes away once I start my cycle, which is really great. I'm proud of myself for only eating out once this week. I'm proud of myself for getting in my workouts, drinking my water, and I'm proud of myself for my 0.2 loss this week. So I'm slowly taking off that one pound gain that I had a couple of weeks ago. I have 0.4 left to get back to where I was. So I lost 0.2 this week on my monthly cycle. That's a huge win. Okay, that's a mini win that we're chalking up to the overall big win of a health win weight loss journey because of losing 0.2, losing anything at all on your cycle is great. And I'm thrilled with it. And like I said, my goal is to just get back to where I was. I'm almost there, 0.4 pounds away. 0.4 pounds is nothing in the big scheme of things, but I'm really proud of myself for my 0.2 loss this week, everything considered. All the stress that I went through this week, being on my cycle, I'm thrilled with that. I wanna know from you guys, what are your mini wins? How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? Let me know everything down below. Again, in the description box at the top, I will link all of the ways that you can support my channel. And really, I appreciate you just watching my videos. You don't have to do anything else, but I will link some of the ways that you can support me, support Lola, support my family, if you're interested. But again, thank you for watching. Just watching, commenting, thumbsing up the video, that makes such a huge difference, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll also have my other favorite things in the description box and my free Facebook group if you would like to come and join us. You do have to join my free group to be part of the Facebook challenge group because that's where I post all of the information. So come join us. 
we would love to have you. Let me know how was your week. Let me know your mini wins. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.